guess what the friends in this video I'm showing you a super simple and tasty breakfast meal prep for easy weight loss and I'm prepping freezer friendly breakfast burritos for the whole week and guess what we're making sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast burritos, and they got canned taties. And it's my favorite, that means canned potatoes. <laughs> so this is what you're gonna need. Plastic wrap, some Ziploc bags, large ones, seven eggs, and one and a half cups of egg whites. I'm using the Costco eggs and the Costco egg whites. Put them in a large bowl. We're gonna need salt and pepper to taste. 14 breakfast sausages, turkey. I'm using the Lilydale turkey sausage, maple flavor. And for reference, you don't have to get the same ones. You just wanna get something along the lines of three sausages for 110 calories. I have pulled the sausage out of the casings because I'm gonna cook it up like that. Seven slices of cheese. We're making seven breakfast burritos, one for every day of the week, so we need one slice of cheese per day. This is the Cracker Barrel Slices, the medium cheddar, and they're the light version. Seven large tortillas. These are the ancient grain tortillas from Costco. You can also use whole wheat. Then we need three and a half cups of canned diced potatoes about two cans. These are the ones we just got from our local grocery store in Canada. Just diced white potatoes and we used almost two cans just for reference. And then we need two tablespoons of light margarine divided, one tablespoon and one tablespoon. And I'm using the base cell light. And this is optional, but if you want to dip your burrito in something when you eat it the next day. I do. Oh, me too. You're gonna need some. Fat free sour cream, we were out at the grocery store, so this is the 1% sour cream, but I looked and it's pretty much fat free. So whichever one, 20 calories for two tablespoons, and then some salsa. And for reference for this one, it's four tablespoons for 20 calories. And how many calories about are wraps? These are 170 for the large one, cool. just for reference. And for the potatoes, just so you know, it's 167 milliliters for 100 calories. So before we get started, I've got two pans preheating on the stove because we're gonna cook our ingredients separate to prevent stuff getting soggy in the wrap and the wrap getting soggy. I've got them sprayed with cooking spray, medium high heat. I'm making this video because I've lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for seven years. And on my journey, anytime I didn't have something cool like this, a tasty grab and go breakfast item, I would usually skip breakfast. And by the end of the day, I'd be so hungry, I'd end up overeating, go way off track, and then I wouldn't get any results. So having super tasty things prepped and ready to go like this, especially grab and go like these, pull out of the freezer, heat for a couple minutes in the microwave, these really help me get the results on my journey and stay on track. I don't know if you're like me, but I am very dawdly and pokey in the morning. I'm really slow to move and grabbing something like this and just heating it really saves me on time. So I'm gonna start by cooking the sausage and the egg. I'm just gonna season the eggs with a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. That oh, looks about right. Just, you know, to your preference. Then I'm gonna whisk these up a little bit to combine everything. Okay, in this pan for the eggs, I'm gonna melt some margarine. And then I'm going to get the sausage cooking in this one here. There we go. Hot pan, hot pan, honey. <laughs> there she is. Melt it up, sweetie. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the eggs in, turn the heat down a little bit now, and I'm gonna scramble these babies up. Basically, 
if you haven't scrambled eggs, you just kind of do a little stir around until soft curds form and the eggs are set, depending on your stove, you know, like three to five minutes, I would say. And then I'm just going to cook the sausage up until it's brown, no longer pink on the inside and cooked right through. All right, the friends, the potatoes are now going to be cooking. I'm just melting the margarine up and then I'm going to get the potatoes cooked five, six minutes until they're golden and crispy and cute. And then we'll put it together, baby. Then tidy it in. There we go. Medium high heat pan sprayed with cooking spray and I'm gonna season these friends with some SMP. Everything is cooked. I, I drained the sausage, put it on a plate. Everything else is in the freezer. I'm trying to get it to come to room temperature because that'll take away, like we're preventing the sogginess by letting the stuff cool down before we assemble the burritos. So we, Sassy and I put stuff in the freezer as a really quick trick. <laughs> So I've got the cheese slices put in the middle of the tortillas because that'll allow us to be able to fold it into a burrito. Now what I'm gonna do to figure out how much to divide between each wrap, I'm going to weigh the sausage out and then I'm gonna divide it by seven so I know how many grams I need to put per wrap. So 235 grams, so about 30, Three. So let's do that. I think I'll put 33 grams. 33 each. grams. So let's go zero this out, <laughs> which is equivalent to about the two sausages, two little breakfast sausage links. So there we go. So once you get that weighed out, we're just gonna put it right on top of the cheese. And however you assemble them, you don't wanna put the eggs on the bottom because that will cause sogginess. So I layered the cheese first, then the meat, and I'll go in with the eggs after. All right, that divided equally, perfectly. The friends, I am so proud of myself because I've been doing it the longest way possible forever. Like, doing a little bit at a time. So that really works. So I'm gonna do the same to the eggs and let the potatoes cool a little bit more. So zero out my scale. Weigh them out, divide it by seven. You got it. 642 divided by seven. That's 91 grams per burrito. Eggs, eggs, you're so cute. <laughs> eggs, eggs, aren't you cute? Oh yeah you are. Oh eggs, eggs, the eggs are too many eggs. Oh no, it's perfect, yeah, it's perfect eggs. 91 grams of eggs? 91 grams of eggs. Beautiful. Sweet little one. Now potato time. We're gonna repeat the same process, and then once this is divided, I will show you guys how to wrap them up and freeze, how to freeze them and all that cuteness. So we're looking at 536 grams. Get to the trusty calc, 536. 76 grams, cuties, let's do it. Let's do it. What did I say? <laughs> 76 grams. 76 grams of Tatey's going in the wrapper of my burrito. Gotta squish that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is not an exact science. All right, there you go. Let's do this. <laughs> Got to squish one. Yeah, well, it was too many grams. <laughs> Make some space, sweetheart. All right, the friends, it's time to wrap this up. Please don't ever <laughs> wrap again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is <laughs> I'm gonna fold the top and the bottom first and then I'm gonna do like the sides and then I'm just gonna roll this over like so and then I'm gonna wrap all the burritos and then I'm gonna tightly wrap them in plastic wrap after that probably take thumbnail action then Plastic then wrap. yeah so that's why i didn't plastic wrap them yet because we got a thumbnail action these babies oops you're a good rapper not not the musical uh -oh. rapping the uh... this one is sad 
That's a big boy. Guys, come on, honey. Come on, wrap for me here, buddy. Oh, maybe I'll wrap. Come on, burrito, you do your thing. Wrap and wrap, wrap, wrap. That one's not cute, but that's okay. <laughs> Nobody pick up this one fast because it's gonna fall in. That's what the plastic wrap is for, because then they'll freeze and then they'll be cute. See that? Right. Okay, buddy. Right. Come on, honey. Get cute. They're like camouflage blending in with the counter. Whoa. Pretty cool. Let's, let's, come on, sweetheart. You know you wanna. Those wrap. are nice and thick, good size. Yeah, they're, well, they're a full meal in a, in a burrito. So they're gonna be beautiful, full of protein, tasty, keep you full. They're not, I'm not folding so cute, but you know. You fine. might be a better folder than us and a better wrapper and a better burrito wrapper. But that's fine. They're gonna be cute anyway. Come on, honey. There, hey, I did it. Yes, oh, get off there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the friends, we're trying different thumbnail actions. So I'm popping these in here. And by the way, the burritos that I didn't show in the B-roll of wrapping wrapped the smoothest, by the way. Um, of course they did. So I don't know, what do you think, Sassy? Like, should we do something like that? Like, do we want hoo hoo like this? Yeah, like, we can try. What do you guys think? You like that for thumbnail? Well, since we're not live, they can't tell us, but. Well, it's okay, they'll tell us in the comments. Tell Telepathically us. in the future, tell us from the past. Just Wait. say like, you guys should have used that picture. <laughs> At three. Mm. <laughs> All right, the friends. <laughs> I've been up since three in the morning. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> so how long do you heat it up? I, well, that is if they're already at room temperature. I heated that for 30 seconds, but I'm gonna tell them how to heat it after it's frozen in a minute. This is just for show at this moment. Um, at room temperature, if you wanna eat them right away, like I just did 30 seconds in the microwave. So oh. that is what it looks like. Like, um, probably could have done a little more to get the cheese melty, but I wanted to just give you guys an idea of what it looks like on the inside. Well, since it's already here and it's in my hand, I may as well test it out. I was thinking the same thing. I made like a ton of different freezer items, but I've never made a freezer breakfast burrito. So I may as well eat this. You're not gonna dip it? Well, oh yeah, we got dipping. We got yeah. salsa, we got mm. sour cream. First of all, that's amazing. So calorie wise for these burritos, then I'll show you how to wrap them. But for the calories, this makes seven burritos, obviously. Per burrito, it's 472 calories, 20 grams of fat, 38 grams of carbs, and 33 grams of protein. Wow. And then you have the option to serve it with things for dipping, two tablespoons of salsa, and two tablespoons of the fat-free or the 1% sour cream. And if you do that, the calories will be approximately 507 for the burrito with the dipping. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the side of that, and then I will put a little bit of salsa on the side mm. as well. Mmm, mm-hmm, wow. Oh my gosh, that like kicks it up a notch. That's great. I'm definitely I'm, doing the I recommend dip. the dipping. All right, so now let me show you how to wrap these. So you're just gonna get a sheet of plastic wrap. We wanna wrap these tightly because we want the burrito to freeze tightly. That way when you unwrap it the next morning to put it on a microwave safe plate and microwave it, it'll be really tightly frozen and nothing will fall out. So we do the short ends first, and then wrap a wrap all the sides, wrap it nice and tight, and then we're gonna put them in Ziploc bags and store them in the freezer. And these can be kept in the freezer for one to three months. And then like I said, one, when you want one, pull it out of the freezer the morning of, unwrap the plastic wrap, put it on a microwave safe plate, and microwave it in your microwave anywhere 
60 seconds to three minutes depending on your microwave and that's it you've got breakfast burritos for the whole week and to friends if you want to know exactly what it ate to lose the weight and keep it off i have weight loss ebooks the links are down below also have a guilt-free cookbook if you like recipes like this check it out and use code nicole to save 10 percent also now yeah. these you gotta move on because they're limited. We got the huddled HTLT Sups. These are the limited edition batch. They have a ton of other flavors, but these are holiday limited edition. So if you want these, Greg Nog and Pumpkin Pie, both are amazing. You gotta get them now before they get out of stock. Use the link down below, htltsups.com, and use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. And now, have this beautiful breakfast. Go make it, love it, like it, hope you enjoyed this vid. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe and watch more vids for more ideas on how to love your food, love life, and disco. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next vid. Cutie pee. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Up! Oh.